Hello, my name is Pepe Carbo. Uh, some of you may know me, some of you may not know me. The uh, purpose of this video is to teach you about air filtration and indoor air quality. I've been in the filtration business for the last 10 years. Uh, a lot of times when I knock on the door and they say, uh, who is it? I usually say it's the AC filter guy. And that's why our page is called the AC filter guy. And the purpose again of this video is just to inform you and to educate you on air filtration, indoor air quality, or what filters are all about. I've seen in the last 10 years, there's a lot of ignorance out there and a lot of uh, misinformation about filtration and how filters work. So I'm gonna do my best to uh, maybe clarify it, but if I don't, right below, there's a place where you can ask questions or make comments and uh, you can go ahead and do that and I'll be glad to answer them for you. Uh, to start off, uh, uh, one of the biggest questions that I get asked all the time or that I, you know, people, when we, uh, I'm out there talking to folks about filters and about indoor quality is that uh, they say, that they clean their home, and then three days after they dust and they clean, three days later they see dust all over the furniture. Now I don't know if this happens to you, or if it bothers you, or if it frustrates you, especially if you have allergies. Uh, you clean and you dust and you get all the right equipment, all the right vacuums and all the right uh, gadgets, but still that dust comes back. And people don't understand, they don't realize what it is. And I just want to show you just a simple thing that you can see, uh, it's a, we call it the salt test and uh, we're going to use one of the most common filters that is used out there which is this filter. Now I know this may not be the filter you use or maybe you used to use it before. Uh, these are the least expensive filters in the marketplace. Uh, a lot of people use them because of that but they don't realize what's going on here and what I like to show you through the salt test is to show you what happens. Okay. Uh, now again supposing this was your filter and uh, what you see here now as you can see it's a, a, a um, there's nothing on there I got some salt here uh, just to illustrate uh, it could be dust but it's salt and uh, just to illustrate uh, we'll put some salt on here and we'll and you'll see it lands on your filter but what you don't realize is that most of the dust is going right through and it's coming right back out into your uh, into your uh, uh, home and actually if you're seeing it on the furniture you're breeding it so you're recycling dust and this is what happens with uh, these types of filters. Uh, they recycle dust. It allows the dust to penetrate so, uh, and go Another back. type of filter that's out there that's very common, and you probably have one of these. Maybe you're one of these guys that has one of these. And uh, this is, uh, comes with the machine, with the unit. It's, oh, my filter's washable. I just comes with the machine. Uh, uh, very popular uh, manufacturer here in, in Miami and South Florida. And uh, this also, again, as you almost you can see me, you can see, you know, you can see through it. And uh, you can imagine, it'll stop 100% uh, golf balls and tennis balls. But when it comes to dust, maybe 10%, 20%. Uh, so if you want to stop golf ball or tennis balls, yeah, 100%. Uh, but just, just let me illustrate also, again, with uh, this one, just so you get a, another effect. You see, we take the salt, pour it in there, and you see the dust. The deception is that there is some dust on there, and you think that it's working. But what you don't realize is that, that most of the dust is coming right back through and that's how it uh, unfortunately deceives a lot of people. But you may be the one that says, but wait a minute, I don't use any of those. I used to, but I don't use any of that. I got smart. I'm, I'm, I got pleated filters and, uh, and that's great because pleated filters are very good. Uh, I do think they're very uh, good filters. They're very expensive. That's why they're good because <laughs> they're expensive. Uh, this is uh, like one manufacturer that does the pleated filter. This is around $17 if you get it on special, maybe $16, $14. But uh, pleated filters also come in different categories. There's a video that I'm going to put out on MERV rating. It tells you the different uh, uh, degrees on, uh, of, of, of how much dust the filter can catch. There are independent laboratories that actually do testing on filters that will tell you what the rating is and how much dust it will capture. Like This is like one of the best that you see here. That's why it's so expensive. But then you have some other ones like this uh, that are not as expensive. And th they got the same concept. It's the same concept of pleats. I don't know if you can see the little pleats. Uh, and basically what it is, is you have the, the filters like this, so they say you have surface area here and then surface area here, and then it, it catches more dust, because if you were to open it up, then you would have more surface area. And that's all the magic behind pleated filters. You have more surface area, they, uh, and then they say they last a little longer, but the, depending on the quality of the, of the material and, and the MERV rating, which again, you'll see another video on that, According to the MERV rating, it'll tell you how much dust it'll catch and how well it is. And even though you have maybe one of these expensive ones, you may be one of those that said, but wait a minute, I, I went out and I bought one of these expensive filters and I still see dust on my furniture. Why is that? Well, let me give you an, a reason why. One of the reasons why is this. 
Sometimes the filters, when you put them in and the air conditioning starts to suck suck the uh, filter up, it does this. It, it, see how you see that bend there? It kinks on you, especially if it gets wet. And then, then all the dust just goes right through it. And then uh, basically, uh, that's what happens. One of the reasons why I'm doing uh, this video outdoors to, to illustrate and to be able to bring out this point, the Environmental Protection Agency, that's an EPA, it's a government agency, they say that uh, if the indoor quality in our homes can be more dangerous than the outdoor quality. Uh, now, I love the outdoors, I love the jungle, I love the rainforest, uh, but I also love to be indoors. I like to sleep indoors. I like to sleep with air conditioning. So why not sleep with a, a good quality filter? Uh, then another problem that people have is this. They uh, uh, can't find the right size. They go out to the store and they can't find the right size for their unit. It's frustrating as anything. Or maybe they even go to the store and to look for their size and it's not there. So that's another story. But the point is, a lot of people, what they do is then they go out and they buy this hog hair. We call it hog hair. And it's, again, it's washable. Maybe some of you have this already. What you do is you just buy a big piece and then you cut it up to your size. Uh, and then um, and then you just stick it in there and you pull it out and then you wash it. But if you were examining it real closely and if, actually if you were to cut it in half and look on the side after you wash it, you see that most of the stuff doesn't come out. And it also lets a lot of the dust, maybe it'll catch maybe 20, 30 percent of the dust, but most of the dust is uh, still in there along with all the germs and bacteria that uh, it could bring. Uh, another option for people that can't find the right size, because that's the, the second problem. Again, the first problem was the dust problem. And the second problem is that they can't find the right size. So a lot of folks, they go out there and they get somebody, uh, an AC guy or somebody will build them a frame like this. And then inside they'll put a better quality filter like this one. It's, a, it's a called polyester. It's uh, fibers that actually catch uh, a lot of the dust, like the fleet of filters, 90 to 95% of the dust. And then they just stick the frame in there. These frames are probably anywhere from, I've seen them as high as $45. And uh, you can actually make them custom made. And, uh, and then it'll fit right in there and you wanna, all you have to do is just replace the pads every, every uh, single month. So that gives you a, a, an idea of some of the filtrations that are out there, some of the filters. Um, again, what I intend to do with these videos is educate you and try to help you understand about filtration. I've been, you know, it's frustrating. A lot of people get so frustrated with that. It's a, it's a minor thing, but it's really major because uh, just think about it, how long can you go without breathing, you know, or if you're breathing all this dust and all this junk is coming in, we don't really know what it's doing to us. There are no studies out there yet that show us what the air that we breathe in our homes is doing. Another thing you may, may think about, even in your homes uh, here, especially here in South Florida, uh, we live locked up and all the windows are closed and even at night when we sleep, even if it's a nice day outside, we close the windows because of the noise or the burglars getting in and we turn on that AC and uh, we're recycling that air along with that uh, dust if we don't have a good quality filter. So the purpose of these videos is just to be able to educate you, uh, get you to understand about filtration. Now, I didn't answer all the questions today, but there may be a question that you have about filtration and how filters work and I have this problem or that problem. Uh, all you gotta do is just write down below here, just ask me the question, you know, and go ahead and I'll be glad to answer you. Uh, there may be a video already that we did on it, and we'll just shoot that video out to you. If not, we'll just answer you uh, via email. So, uh, and then um, we have a video coming up, and uh, I hope that you would, uh, that this was interesting to you, and you were able to open your eyes and enlighten you to about air filtration and dust. We have a video coming out uh, in a couple of days that you'll be able to see if you, if you choose to. Uh, by just putting in your email and uh, your name, and we'll be glad to send you that email. And it's, a, it's an offer. It's an offer uh, that I like to make to you uh, so you can try a filter for uh, up to two months uh, with no cost or obligation. I'll explain to you what the catch is. I'll explain to you what the filter is and how it works. It's an invention that, that I came up with, and it's something that uh, will probably show you how to solve any one of these problems that you have. Again, the first problem being the dust problem. The second problem, trying to find the right size problem. And, uh, and then the uh, third problem, which uh, people have, which I didn't mention, I'll mention now, is that a lot of people forget to change the uh, air conditioning filter. You know, out of sight, out of mind, it's in the closet somewhere, in the garage, you forget. And we have a solution for that also that we'll tell you in the second video. So I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, thank the person, you know, send them an email, thank them for, for uh, 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 you know, having you know them sending you this uh, video, and if you want to send this video to somebody you know and let them enjoy it, then by all means, uh, you know, let them uh, learn also about uh, indoor quality and filters. And again, uh, hopefully, I'll see you on the next video.